guys, you're watching Kate Straight Up and I am your host Caitlin and today we're going to do a really quick video to show you how to make your very own homemade salt and vinegar zucchini chips. Now that is a mouthful but it's easy, it's amazing and if you are like me and you can't get your hands out of that bag of salt and vinegar chips, you are going to be so happy to learn this recipe because it's zucchini, it's a vegetable, I think it counts as like eating vegetables and being healthy. There's not a lot of fat in this recipe, so you can feel free to indulge. Just a few simple steps. We have our zucchini sliced as thin as possible. After that, you're gonna wanna let them dry out on your counter as much as possible or press them with a paper towel. We want to get as much of the liquid that's actually in the zucchini out of the zucchini before we put the vinegar in because we're going to slow cook these. They take about two hours. In total, we are adding about two tablespoons of a malt vinegar. It's okay if you have a little bit of extra. It'll just come out when you move them from your mixing bowl to the pan, but about two tablespoons. If you want to experiment with some other ingredients, guys, go ahead. But today I am showing you how to make a simple salt and vinegar chip, and that's all there is. Two ingredients, some malt vinegar, and some sea salt. A nice way to make sure that your zucchini kind of splits apart from each other and that we can get the vinegar and salt on everything is to shake it in a Tupperware like this. Next step, you're gonna lay out a rack over a cookie sheet and preheat your oven to 225 degrees. You're gonna give a light spray with some cooking spray and then lay out your zucchini chips. So we want them in one layer, so just kind of make sure that they they could be close, they're not going to expand or anything, but just lay them out like so on your rack. As I mentioned, if you have a little bit of extra vinegar on these zucchini chips, it's not a big deal because it will drip off here. But you want to give them a nice soaking so that that vinegar flavor sticks and soaks into the zucchini so they actually taste like a salt and vinegar chip. If any piece of your zucchini looks like it missed out on a little bit of that salt or vinegar, you could go ahead and just do another little topping of it. Say you have one like this guy, whatever. Go ahead, you could definitely drizzle over the top. It just might add to your cooking time if you do so. So you wanna get them nice and tossed beforehand, but you can still add at this point of the process. Now, these zucchini crisps laid over our tray, they're going into a 225 degree oven for about two hours. You'll be able to tell when they are done because they are gonna dry out and kind of almost dehydrate on that low heat and they're gonna look like a chip. I told you this one was quick and easy today. There you have it, you have some awesome homemade salt and vinegar chips. They are so much healthier for you than the actual bags. I don't care if they're even the baked salt and vinegar. These things are healthier, they taste fantastic, and that was not hard. If you have any questions, comments, or wanna ask me anything, do that below this video, or tweet at me at Kate Straight Up. I'm on Instagram, also Kate Straight Up Cooking. You can pretty much find me anywhere if you look for that. Um, any questions, anything at all, feel free to ask, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.